You, what up guys, I'm back with another kind of talk video. So, I literally just woke up maybe like an hour or two ago and I'm like, fuck. I want to talk about something. I'm not even about something, it was literally just about like my first two weeks. Because I was going to do like an update after a month of like my new job. Then I was just like, you know what? I don't know what. I don't really, you know, I haven't warmed up my shot. And I was just like, you know what, fuck it, I can't bother. I'ma just, I'ma just, you know, do an update now. Come here, cuz. Oh my lord. Fucking hell, I can't catch these cuz for shit. But no, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just do an update. So it's been two weeks. It's been, you know, all good. It's easy job, you know. Easy well it's a nine to six. Well my hours were supposed to be nine to six. But like uh at night, because I'm a night shift worker. So, you know, nine PM to six PM, which is what I like, cause bro, I I'm up to like the deep deep hours of night like deep deep hours like, i'm normally up to like four or five like i think today i stayed up till i think five o'clock and i got off at like 2 30 because my time to change uh on thursday to saturday i'm five two thirty well, it's Sunday because it's like display days. We need to change all the dis uh, displays. It's nine to six. So you know, I was a bit all over the place, but it is what it is. You know, getting some money in either way. But you know that having having these times changed because I was just supposed to be nine to six for all four of the days, and I had to get time changed because someone in our department ended up swapping out. That was all fucked on my gut, sure, alright. Starting off mean. Gotta change my schedule around. But you know, it's, it's... But... Damn, I suck. I really should have warned up my aim. But you know, it is what it is. What? Fuck! What the fuck? So anyway. Well, first week, you know, uh, I'm just, I'm in the third week, so I've obviously completed my first and, my first and second. I'm on to the third. Bruh. When I tell you, when we did the switch because, you know, that, um, person left our department, bruh, it all became fucked. Because my days are, um, obviously, like I told you guys, uh, Thursday to Sunday. It's just four days at the moment. But on Friday and Saturday, I'm the only one, I'm the only person actually on the floor. <laughs> because we have no one else, because in our department there's like three people a night in total. And they have to spend sim days. So the other person that I have that I usually work with, it's she's Sunday to Thursday. So I see you on Thursday. That's all the help I got. Keep in mind that, like, I'm literally, I literally just started, and I don't know where half the shit is in this place. And I gotta, you know, do all the, do all the little shit that they do as well, and I'm just there confused as shit. I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, brother. Why'd you leave me alone? I'm just confused as shit. I'm trying to find my way. I'm just grabbing items, and like, shit, is what it is. So, on Friday, said, dude. I'm practically alone I say practically because I do have someone but we had to grab them from literally another department we had to grab them from uh, the checkout department so we took her and it's um the person the person's name is Devin who left our department it's literally his mom so you know we grabbed someone from checkout put it on our team but she she gets off like 10.30, so I think she starts at like 1 o'clock. 
And I'm just like, oh, for fuck's sake. So when I get there, at five o'clock, I gotta make sure, hurry. I'm gonna make sure I bloody hurry, you know, because I need to get all the pallets done. I need to get it for the new shipment tomorrow. What the fuck? And I'm just there, just scaring. I'm just like, oh shit. Right, some of these items, just, some of the items I have to find. The chilled area is alright for me. It's the frozen, uh, no, the frozen area is easy. It's like super duper small. And I mean super duper small. So, like I can, I can find shit pretty easily. But like chilled area, it's, right, it's got, it's such a wide variety. It goes from like butters all the way to dips, all the way to juices, all the way to Frickin' butter, cheese, yogurt, some just like, ah, oh, fuck, man. I'm like, couldn't it be more goddamn easy? This shit's bullshit. Ah, oh, come on. I jumped in. But for the first two, three weeks, it's been pretty solid, you know? No mishaps, but in like the next coming week, so my first actual month when I had to do a couple more stuff because after a month you gotta sign your contract. Ah, uh, you ass wiper. So after you, you know, you first you sign week, at least in New Zealand, it might be different for you guys, whatever country you're in. You have get to sign your first con uh, your contract. You can go to the union, or you can, or you can just go with a personal contract. But after a month, you do that. I'm probably just gonna go. I can't bother for all this union shit, to be honest. But, um, just the train, not bothered. And also, the person who does the union is a bit of a. Bit of a. Bit of a weird kind of. I can't even lie, so I'm just like, ah, no. But anyway, so I'm into my third week. We're all good for this week. But apparently, next week, on Saturday, I'm gonna actually be alone. Because Devin's mom, Vanessa. It's not gonna be there because obviously she has proof leave, so it's not like I'm, like I'm not mad at her. I'm just like, damn. These these motherfuckers just threw me in the deep end. Like they're just trusting that I'll be able to get you know all the pellets done, which I pro I can most like I most likely can because Sunday is supposed to be more of a it's a more chill day than all the others. Actually wait, yeah yeah yeah, because usually on my four days. Thursday is chill, Friday is you get a lot of shit, Saturday is chill, and then Sunday's absolutely fucked. That's when a lot of pallets come in because of, you know, displays and shit, display changes and all that. It's a whole lot of fuckery. I'm telling you, a whole lot. Oh my lord, I thought I had an SMG, I should look. So, you know, Saturday. It, I mean, the milk delivery comes in on a sad day, but fuck, it ain't that bad. Especially since all I have to do, like the first thing I do, I have to obviously do the load. I have to just do the load, make sure it's all put back. So that's the first thing to do. Second is face up. She lets you just pull the product forward. And then date checking. Those are the first two things, which, I mean, if you're alone, you're most likely not going to get through, to be honest. You're most likely not going to get through the load if you're just by yourself. Especially on some of the days, like freaking Friday, which is today. Come back here. What the fuck is even going on here? But yeah, on Fridays... <laughs> on Fridays, it's kind of hectic, but i still got someone. Next week, apparently, I won't be ha uh, having anyone on Saturday. So I'm like, damn, okay. That sh that's kind of shit, but yeah, eh, that's what it is. And then apparently next, like, next week, uh, the week after that, 
I'm literally alone on Thursday, and I'm like, oh, sweet, so I'm alone on Thursday, Friday, said, nice. The one good thing I'll say is... One good thing is like you're allowed to wear like a um an earbud in your ear while you're actually doing your work so that's good at least what so you know i'm just like chilling my earbud and obviously you can only have one because you need to hear the best one but it's something because i'm gonna be bored of shit bored of shit alone in my own department with literally no one else there Literally bored as fuck. But when I actually got the when I got the job, they said I was gonna be doing a lot of solo work, so I was expecting it. Not many people really want to do night shift, to be honest. Not many people have the schedule, you know, they like day because you get back home, you still have like the afternoon before you go to sleep. A lot of people, you know, a lot of stores are still open. You know, you can still go have your dinner dates. But with me and like the way I am, I like night shift, it fits my schedule. So, you know, it is what it is. I like night, obviously, I got a partner, so it's kind of hard because, you know, she has to hang out. But I got nights and she's got, she's like more mornings. got mornings, you know, hard sometimes, but, you know, I gotta somehow make it work, especially since I'm looking for a job, and this is, that's so annoying, you know, when you're applying for them, because a lot of these are, like, entry level jobs, you apply to them, and they're just like, yeah, you don't meet the criteria, it's like, what do you do, is just stand at a goddamn counter and fill, or fill some jobs, like, motherfucker, it's not as hard as you guys are making it sound. It doesn't sound like it's like computer engineering or some shit, bro. Damn. Like, it's not as hard as these motherfuckers are making it out to be. And they're trying to make it sound harder so people, you know, can feel good about getting denied. Like, fuck you guys. Just fuck you guys. But yeah, the people there are pretty good. I don't like. I'm I'm more introverted, so I don't talk to people as much. But you know, I, I should get used to everyone. But I've like connected with a couple of them, so I'm more good with that now. You know, get into other stuff later. I still need a couple of my shit. Like I just got my gloves because I'm in the chillers. So you know, I work with all cold products. So. Happy I got my goddamn gloves because I don't mind the cold. Like I prefer, I prefer the cold. But for my hands, do not prefer the cold at all. They do not prefer the cold. My hands literally just ache at me, especially at the like the end of the night. My hands are aching, achy, achy, bro. I'm like, oh, fuck sake. Like I go to touch something, especially in the freezer, because it defrosts and frosts for some reason. It's got this automated system that I swear it is just untuned. It's fucked. Like it's literally fucked. It's actually fucked. It just keeps freezing. I'm freezing. You, you, you guys know when you like um. Put your tongue on like how people say don't put tongue on some shit or some stick. Literally, because I've done that shit before. And my, my tongue's on stuff, but I've easily been able to get it off. It literally feels exactly like that. Like I go to touch anything, my hands basically feel like glowing and I'm like, oh damn. I need to unglue my fucking hand. I need to get that. I need to get keys for the break room. So I still need to get that. Hopefully. I'm gonna get that soon, but 
who knows when I'll get that. Like, I need to get all the into the store because since it's night shift, you know, not really any way to get in. You can't just go through the front door. So I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just give me my key, give me my shit. Why well, didn't I get it when I first got here? I guess not. I'll just have to wait. Hey, bruv, get back here. Oh yeah, in the first fucking weeks. In the first literal week. I've gotten like a sick. I haven't gotten sick the whole time I haven't job. So that was annoying. First week got sick on my damn fuck this shit. And then right after that, I contracted like my, my, my gout fleet up again. I'm like I'm like for fuck's sake, bruh. Why'd I have to why did I have to flare up now? I could have could have dealt with it. I could have dealt with that before, but now I'm just like Now I'm just like, damn, bro. I can get up for days and see any fuck about it. So I'm just walking. I haven't like missed a, I haven't missed a day because of it. I haven't missed a day because I'm like, nah, fuck that. I'm gonna miss a day over this shit. And it's a lot. It wasn't. It was a way easier experience the last time I had it, bro. This one was. This is like some poppy playtime like shit, bro. This shit's easy as hell. I can. I was actually able to walk, like this time I was able to walk. I said last time, that shit. That shit was hella trash, I'm like, damn. I need to get better at these edits. And also, you know, a bit of consistency, but it's kind of hard when you're literally in country. And the only shit you can use is satellite. You know, you sound like there's no other internet available, no fiber, no nothing. What? What? I don't pull that shit out. That's some bullshit. Oh! Oh my bro, I'm getting gangbanged by two dudes. This is some bullshit. But yeah, I think that's all I really got to say. That's all I can think of right now. Cause I got work and I'm tired. I'm just like, sure. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. Um, I'll probably do an update if shit happens. I'm thinking of doing some other type of videos as well. You know, that's that's for some other day. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah, you. Let us.